Oh, do I really want to do the expert and master stages? Yeah, I guess I should. I've kept you guys waiting way, way too long on this walkthrough. So, but yeah, it was just basically a run of camera bad luck that happened. So, yeah, it's not really my fault so much as it is that I just got unlucky, which I can't do anything about. But since I haven't made parts in such a long time, I'll keep going. I, I would almost guess that I already made around five to six parts worth of monkey ball footage already. But hey, uh, let's just keep going at it. What the heck? Uh, maybe it's like five parts or so with that uh, blooper death reel. I'm almost positive I'm gonna make on that domes one. Uh, you know, the one that I kept falling off of that little, those tiny little domes on the long strip. Arg! That one was evil. Evil. It's a lot more. It's a lot harder than it looks. Looks like it is. Oh no! Don't fall off this time. I want to get to the regular exit. Not. Oh, I could just skip right through here, can't I? Yes, I can. I'll just ride right on top of the glass and not fall through, even though that I got a chunky monkey butt. Melting pot, one of the most luck based ones ever. Uh, well, maybe it's not that luck based, but it's pretty well luck based. Oh, getting dizzy, getting dizzy, getting dizzy. Oh my god, I think I, I'm gonna think I can do Oh no, I can't do it. But get pushed into the goal. No! Last time I got pushed into the goal, remember that? Uh, yes, I got it. Got it, 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 got it. Uh, I guess I got it first try, both tries. Uh, as you can see, behind this little teleporter here is the play button. I recommend you hit it and go right through and wait for this thing to switch around and then go on top of it. It's going to flop, flop, move over, and there we go. Yeah, it's, it's two flops over and then it uh, reverses direction. No problem whatsoever. Okay, this one's called Partition. Uh, basically, it's separated into two parts. Um, you've got the this side, which is a banana maze, and I don't think you can hop these walls. I would doubt you could hop these walls. Let's just try it for the heck of it. No, you can hop those walls. Maybe, uh, oh wait, maybe you can. Uh, yeah, I think you can hop those walls, but I would doubt it. You can't, you can't hop, uh, oh yeah, you can't hop those, but you can't hop these bigger walls here. Um, basically, you just go through this teleporter, then you get to the other side with more bananas, and let's skip. No skipping. Oh, it, it just said no skipping. You are not allowed to skip. Skipping is for noobs, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to skip past the stage anyway. As you can see, I have full lives just like before when I got to the bonus stages, so I don't need bananas. Come to think of it, with 99 lives, I would be very surprised if I would need bananas ever. <laughs> Seriously, okay, this is where the regular goal is, right on here, this first tier, right in front. So yeah, aim for yourself, aim yourself to fall in, onto the front one, and you'll be golden. If you go higher, you'll get to uh, more higher ranked exits, and then what'll happen is you'll skip stages, but as I said, I'm not skipping stages. Skipping is for noobs too. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, go down, and that was it. That was pathetic compared to the last one. The last one is that was actually pretty crazy, but I'm, I'm just so used to getting flinged up in the air on that one. Because I've played that stage like a hundred times, probably, literally. Uh, <clears throat> because I love this game a lot, and I've played it a lot. Uh, that's why I thought I would do a walkthrough on it, to show the monkey ball love. Oh yeah! Okay, what's the, what's the center? What's the center? This is the center. The center is where this banana is. Roll down the center, right down this line here, and flop! Go! Oh no! No! Not Toggle! The most evil stage in Monkey Ball history. Okay, there's harder ones than this one. But this one's still a pretty mean stage, because if you don't get enough speed, it's over. Yeah. And if you if you try and do them one by one, it's also pretty much over, because you won't have enough time to do it. Yay! Okay, time it. Wait for it. And go. Right now. Yes, I think I got it. I think I got it. Yes! <sighs> That wasn't that bad, actually. Maybe I make maybe I make that stage out to be harder than it actually is. Because the last time I played the stage, I beat it pretty quick, too. I guess it's all about getting used to the timing. Um, this one's Pachinko. Whether you fall out of the stage or you get to that goal, 
Um, you can't really go back up this hill unless you get lucky with these bum bumpers here. Um, so either fall off the stage, collect as many bananas as you can on your way down, or get to the goal, or just fall right out like that. <laughs> Either way, it'll end the bonus stage. Oh, a combination. This one, I'm making out to be harder than I thought. <laughs> I just, I just remembered which one it was. I was thinking of some other stage. Never mind. Um, wait, wait for the middle one to come over here, and then just flop yourself right onto this one here, and, and then wait for it to go around. And wait for it to go to the left. It's gonna move off to the left when, when you get to it at this speed. Like when you get to it, uh, uh, if you went at the pace that I went and just knew where to go instantly, it'll go at this this speed and you'll be able to go right to the goal. Yay! You'll end up at the back door of the goal, but it's the goal nonetheless. All you have to do is cut that tape and punch seesaws. This reminds me of the other seesaws one um, that I fell out embarrassingly, but uh, it's uh, about the same difficulty if you just let yourself go right in between them gradually and not let the seesaw fall too far to one side or the other. It's a timing thing. Uh, next is opera. I really, really don't understand where they got the name of the stage from. Is it because th these are like staircases and it's like a round staircase up to the opera stage or something? I don't know. I, I never I never understood the name of the stage. If anyone can... Uh, um, if anyone knows the origin of why they call this one opera, I post it in the channel, or not channel comments, video comments. I guess you could post it in the channel comments too. That wouldn't hurt. It would still get the message across. <laughs> but yeah, I have I have absolutely no idea why this one's called opera. But anyway, just control the way that you fall here, just like this. Just control your speed. Just keep tapping back on the control stick to keep the speed. Stay towards the inside of the ring and not the outside. To to keep your speed and to prevent yourself from flying off to the outside. Uh, it's no big deal whatsoever. If you're just careful with it and you take your time. This one's brandished. Uh, careful, 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 careful. Wait for it. Yeah, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Yeah! I hit the very edge of the goal, but I got it anyway. Let's see if it sh Oh, it's not going to show it. Dang it, it's too far away. Well, I guess that's where I flew off to. I must have hit the left side of the goal. Um, next one is Tears. If you recall this one, I took the upper path accidentally and took the ultra-thin, ultra-tiny pathway, but that is not what you want to do. You want to go to the lowest one and keep your speed up so you don't fall towards the inside. Just keep a steady speed of around 25. Ah! I was going to say 25 miles per hour because that is uh, the safest speed uh, so you don't fall out while it while it turns you automatically. You know, you don't have to adjust yourself as you go if you're at that certain speed. Um, see, if you go too fast, you'll make yourself fly off to the left side, but if you go too slow, you'll uh, be tilted down towards the right side because this is a tilted platform. As you can see right here, it's a lot more prominent on this bigger platform. And going off to the next stage, uh, hold on just a sec right here. Dang, I love this bigger memory card. I could just keep talking non-stop and I'm just so happy. I don't have to keep dumping it. But I have a feeling that my throat is going to get parched eventually from my crazy voice. Oh, no! Like that. But it is so, so much more convenient now than it was before. I, I almost sound like I'm ranting about it, but hey, that's how it was before. And uh, oh, no! I'm, I'm going way too fast now. Uh, that's how it was before, and I lived with it for over a year. But now I'm. Uh, I got a much, much better system between uh, video editing and the camera as memory card. The camera itself, I mod oh! I modified its settings for the best results for filming a TV. Uh, that if you ever uh, do walkthroughs yourself, people always ask me uh, what what tips I should give them or what tips would I, uh, you know, what do I do when I do walkthroughs? I just uh, put the camera uh, far away from the TV, zoom in on the TV, and then mess with the camera settings for the best results on the picture for each game. And, and that's basically about it. Just keep the camera straight and um, straight and level with the TV so it doesn't look like it's off to an angle like my older walkthroughs. Those I feel were just embarrassing because because I could have made, took, uh, made a better effort to uh, get a better angle on the TV, you know, a straight angle. But, uh, you know, I was a beginner. I didn't think people really uh, 
care too much about that, but uh, it, it eventually started to wear on me that I started to care about it, that I wanted a better angle, and I wanted to get a screen recorder quality, basically, with um, a camera, and I think I've done a pretty good job of that. There's, it's a little bit grainy, and you can see that scan line. Um, there's not, not much I can do about that. Because it'll catch the little tiny lines in between the pixels, so to speak, the little brick pixels on my CRT TV here. Um, the scan line, as I said, you can't do anything about um, unless you're ha unless you have an LCD TV. Uh, LCD TVs will pretty much have no scan lines because they because they don't use scan lines. They're constant. That was just stupid. <laughs> I was just talking or thinking about what I want, what I do, and yeah, whatever. 